Ponding the Fry When the ale oven have used up their egg sacs, it's time to put them into the big pond trough. We look at them to make sure that they're mostly zipped up and that they're ready to be put into the trough. We pull the tray out and we empty out a little bit of water so that it's not so full that when we open the lid that the fish can escape out the sides. That lid is on there to keep the fish in the tray while they're growing. So we open the lid and take it off. You can see there's quite a few fry in there. There's actually a couple of thousand. So what we need to do is to take a small sample of them and weigh them and count them and then we can get the average weight per fish. So we put some water in the bowl and then zero it. And we carefully, very carefully, take some fish out of the tray. We don't need many but we need enough. We get the extra water out of the net and we carefully transfer the fish into the bowl making sure there's no fish stuck in the net. You can see them there. And then we take the weight that's in the bowl. That's the weight of all those fish. And I transfer them into that bucket when I'm counting. So we need to write down the weight. And then after I've counted, I also write down how many fish there were for that weight. And then we calculate the average weight per fish. So here I'm counting the fish. I'm very carefully scooping them up and counting how many are in the scoop and adding them each time. We have to be careful not to squish the fish or knock them on the head because we don't want to kill them. So once we've done that and we've got the average weight per fish, then we need to weigh all of the fish that are in the tray. So we use a bigger net and we carefully again scoop a lot of the fish. We get the extra water out of there, but we have to be quite quick because we don't want to stress the fish too much. We put them into the bowl. I do that until I have a good amount, but not too many that they're squishing each other. I take that weight and I write that down. And I keep doing this until I get to where there's not that many fish left in the tray. gets a little bit hard to catch them when there's so few fish in there. So what we have to do then, is when there's only a few left, is to put the lid back on the tray. We take it out of the water and we have to shake them down into the corner of the tray very carefully, trying to be as gentle as possible. We take the lid back off and quickly as we can just gently pat, tap to get all of those, the rest of the fry into the bowl. We have to make sure that they're all out of the, out of the tray. Sometimes they can get stuck in there and we don't see them. But we're as careful as we can. And then we get that weight and we write it down. And then we add them all up and we can calculate how many fish that we've got in that tray. Then it's time to put them into the trough. Some of them swim right down to the bottom, but some of them just swim away. The ones on the bottom are okay. They look quite content to be in their new home. On this day, we put in about 5,000 fry. 
and in this trough there are 19,000 fry altogether. And we feed them every day.